Hello my friend, are you feeling good? Are you looking good? Are you doing good like a good boy or girl should? Well, I hope so because I am welcoming you into my home. Here is the, uh, my little home. Welcome to my humble abode. I am a simple merchant from Harad and uh, I am sort of in the process of some real estate mergers here but um, occasionally people take umbrage with that such as the White Hand. They seem pretty fanatical about uh, their devotion to the land, so the point where they are challenging us for it using martial might. Quite unbecoming of uh, what is apparently one of the most sophisticated nations in the world. Hmm. Anyhow, um, speaking of sophistication, here is our homeland and it's doing lovely things such as preparing uh, fresh Security forces for dispatch to areas whose names they cannot pronounce. Uh, it's, it's going to be a uh, fun time. It's going to be a fun time. But first, we need Harith uh, to get to his destination. Uh, speaking of getting to destinations, uh, we also have other navies such as Wakas, um, also with security forces, and Zaire, who has delivered security forces. We are going to get them all. All of our boys are coming home, you know. But for now, we are absolutely out of options, except to end the turn. Welcome to the Total Waffle Show! Isengard's turn came and went, and they did nothing, but Angmar would do us no such favours. So here comes a not really that noteworthy captain, and a general with a death wish. Because our security forces in this area are big, Four-legged, big, deadly, big, and did I mention they were large? Yeah, some something to that effect. Anyway, um, we're to establish diplomatic relations with Erebor. Well, I am already on it, dear friends. Already on it. Well, hello there, Prince Hortian. Um, anyhow, hello, Drocky, conqueror of Dale. Drocky. Okay, um... You know, since you're very rich, and probably don't know where Harad is on a map. What say you to a simple... Trade. This is a blip on the map for us, but... You know, every little bit helps. It's a building. And if we can fund our construction projects via Dwarven Kindness, I mean, that would just be lovely, wouldn't it? What do we get for that? More money! Yay! More money than we know what to do with. Um, hmm. Alright. Lovely. Thumb up. You are a good man. Ooh! Shadow Shadows in Woodwind and Serpent Archers and Saturn Archers can also be nice in a pinch. Um, now, then there's the issue of Enadar. And apparently, it's going to take quite some doing to get our troops there. But apparently, it's also going to be quite difficult to get people out but we can sort of do like that and then Enethauer might just rise up we'll see we will see we will see it'll be nice if they do because then we can sort of take the settlement earlier and avoid further destruction of the landscape but ah anyway speaking of destruction of the landscape hello um Angmar I'm going to ignore you for a little while longer so you know get your hopes in accordance with that okay hmm um, Terthoros, hello, you've got some farming, there's an army barracks but you won't really get much use out of it, and that's about it, but hard, yes, good, 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 you keep on building, gotta keep on building, okay, and we're just gonna keep on training archers, you've got yours, it's good, alright, faction announcements, any interesting bits, well, we have some births, which is of course a cause for celebration, <sighs> hmm. Mumagor, 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 Mumagor has been besieged. And you know who that calls into question? Hmm? Well, <laughs> calls into question. It doesn't call him into question, but it certainly triggers the protective instincts of Umara. Mm-hmm. Uh, I am inclined to smack these people on the head and call them silly. 
That's pretty successful to me. And then there is the question of Freka. You are not equipped for this fight, my friend. You're not even equipped for taking this settlement. Or maybe you are. No, but no, because there is um, a military, a militia garrison. So if you tried to attack, even if you could, and there were no walls that you couldn't get through, because apparently in this game, cavalry cannot dismount to uh, take on a settlement. Um, but yeah, so even if you could do that, yes, noble master. The simple truth of the matter is, you'd be demolished by spears. Britney Spears. So to save you that humiliating fate, I am going to bring in Umara, and um, yeah, it'll be very honourable, supremely honourable. Hello, Freka. You animal. I have one word for you. Alright, there was a bit more than one word, Umara, but, um, you know. Maybe brevity isn't your strong suit. It's okay, it's okay. Oh, so that's where you go. Ah. Well, that's just lovely. <laughs> Ah, okay. You, you come back this way? Well, that's good of you. Good. Come here where my olifants can shoot you. <laughs> uh, marauders, raiders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for the raiders. I want those dead. They are the most dangerous ones, I think. At least to our olifants they are. Um, yeah. But don't hold yourself back. Okay. Uh, the Marauders charge into the Pikemen, and the Pikemen are taking a punch, but they can also deal some damage, so, you know. It's pretty good. Um, yeah, archers just uh, keep shooting at them. Um, don't care too much about a few Pikemen. It's okay. It's okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Just keep smashing. Keep smashing. It's going to be good. Keep smashing. Hello, Marauders. Oh, now you're going for the Pikemen, too. All right, 89% uh, dead, and the Marauders are not surviving that. No. Our enemy flees before us like a herd of goats. Good, 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 good. Now it's just left to see if we can shoot any of these buggers. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll, I would call that a marginal success. Great victories are like sweet nectar. Come. Let us drink of the most rare and glorious fruit. A strong showing from the pikemen, I think you will find. And I think you will agree that they deserve the experience point gained. Very, very good. Very good indeed. Uh, what shall we do with these marauders? Aw, oh, they can't afford a ransom of 151. They truly are a militaristic nation. But anyway, we've got uh, Umara's command boosted, which is always nice. And, um, hmm, well, maybe we should just use him, you know, he's got some competence in governing a place, so he can be there for a little bit, and, um, what are the others going to do? Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. The Witch King Conqueror of Dane's Halls. Um, we think he, he does protest too much. Anyway. I suppose we can find ways to knock that pretender out of the game. Hmm. First, we may need to deal with the high pass. We do want to see some Mumma in the high pass, don't we? Yes, we do. And first step toward that noble, noble end is to get our spies out of Mumagor and put them to use elsewhere. So. Um, we can use Aretha over here. You know what, maybe you can uh, take a look at some of these people. To Dan, the gossip for instance. Good stuff, good stuff. 
And then you just get a little bit closer. Every single day things are getting closer. And... Mmm... Abrazimir. I want you to take a look at the rush. Very nice. Okay, so it's good to know that the Halberdiers are not in full number. It's good to know that the Longbowmen are not. But, you know, it's a decent little army, isn't it? We may need to support this end of the world. With additional soldiers. And uh, the, the lucky thing is, though, we can. So we can go over here, for instance. It is... He must be at war with the Snow Orcs, right? I suppose he is. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, he is. So, Orders. here's my hope. How may I serve? Orders. How may I serve? We can put those over there. These lands hide our forces well. And we could even put Orders. some additional troops in there. The We're training more here in Fountain Gold. Or Fountain Gold. <laughs> Um, yeah, so while we're waiting for additional reinforcements for Mumagor, we want Umara to get out and about and not just sit here. And he's going to break through and essentially smash up Goblin Town with all that's available to him. He might need the aid of a catapult. Because those gates are pretty tricky for the Mumakil to get through, but... Hmm. Ah. Okay. And in moving, this had best be okay, we can just uh, make a very generous ceasefire option. But do we want that? Yeah, maybe we do. Just to make uh, the Witch King think twice about his whole. Um, getting up in our business. Sometimes a moment's hesitation is all you need for joy to be guaranteed. Um, yeah, decent troops are coming all around. Danan and Gimilkad are coming as well to help see the glory of this area rightfully preserved and um, even improved upon. Now, the interesting thing here is that Isengard has decided to send Nagluk elsewhere. To Baradvin, apparently, where Uglak besieges uh, the fortress. And if he does take it, with the help of his little colleague there, then, um, yeah, we'll have a little think about what to do about that. But for now... We're actually just decently stable around here. And Ubadar can just continue his journey unabated. Oh, we don't have military access with Enadwyth. Ugh, oh, forgot about that. Mm, okay. Anyway. Umay. Hello there. You have an army to pick up. Um, and there's a boat coming for you. Yes, How may I serve? Orders. You can get these people along as well, and um, then you just need five more, so you can get four from that fort, and some additional lower tier troops. You know, those are fine. They're as fine as these, so we'll just we'll just get them. And there's some sirens outside. Apparently, people are having fun. Well, for sure one hopes, right? No, it's probably not fun. It's probably a deadly accident and uh, I've just made fun of something that's unconscionably bad. But, uh, yeah. Sorry about that. Anyway. To Baratharn we go.
Our military industrial complex um, have, has sort of calmed down a little bit. And I'm okay with that. How may I serve? I am okay with that. Um, anything else that we need to do? Uh, well, we could send an additional spy out for some training missions. So you could try to get into this fort. Yay! And he got better. Always nice when your employees get better at their jobs. I shall continue. How may I serve? Orders. And that has nothing to do but uh, end the turn and hope that Enathar will come to their senses or something like that and decide to attack us. Wouldn't that be nice? An uneventful turn passes and the dwarves of Erebor are to be our trading companions. Despite being slightly out of our way. Yes, my master. But I suppose it's okay. Uh, sure was uneventful, wasn't it? Yeah. Anyhow, uh, let's see if we can track down that Variac diplomat that is lurking about around here. Has anyone seen him? We want to find him. Going to keep tabs on him. Oh yes, today's road. Okay. Now, Angmar is neutral. For now. Goblin Town will be spied upon. We march. How may I serve? Order. Merging our armies. How may I serve? And we're still a little bit away from being able to re retrain our people. But we can hire new ones in Fountain Gold, and that is lovely. We're getting new troops as well, which is excellent. Um, do we want these? <sighs> I don't think they're what we need, really, unless they come with beasts or anything. And even then, we can probably counter that with our artillery. Uh, some buildings, some blumdings. Karandash, hello. You will be retraining troops. Um, Hadanur. More economy buildings, please. It's gonna be lovely. Um, Bar. Irrigate your crops, god damn it. Get on it. Ammonithal have discovered this technology. You can too. <laughs> uh, what do we want after that? Just basic economic structures, I suppose, and some armor. You know, basic stuff. Um, Dangren, are you good for culture in the way that we need for this grand stables to work? Mm hmm. Eh, maybe, maybe. Let's get that dark temple, though. And when we can start getting troops trained here, we will probably be able to move out this entire army. Thinking of it though, we might want the Haradri marchers in there. Uh, we could feasibly get this whole army out next turn. Just as an, as an insurance policy against uh, the um, grimaces of Isengard. And oh, do they grimace. We can hit them in so many ways. So we could hit them at Karas and Acherot at once with both two mighty armies and they would be pretty much unable to stop us from expanding our territory in this manner. It's a bit sad that this is a stronghold but the upside is that the Orcish stronghold has become pretty damn good in this version of the game. Always happy to deal with you, trusted oh, you don't want to walk people through my land? Oh, hmm. Sucks to be you, I'm gonna box you in. <laughs> um. <laughs> if 
Find a well, get Muma kill. Oh, well, well. That's a rhyme that I enjoy. Hmm. Let us get them somewhere nice. Can Telethalos get them the right upgrades? Yes, yes, yes. And uh, so it should, by all accounts. And why don't we also set some cavalry with them? It, it just seems right. <laughs> Trollman champions, it's a good unit, we want them. Now, how necessary is Pishtin for the prosperity of Amrun? Let's briefly investigate. Because he is a great administrator, so he'll have an impact. Oh, lordy lord. It's a difference of over 2,000. Uh, okay. Just, um, that is not nothing. Uh, how much of that is corruption? None. So that is basically all him boosting trade and uh, efficient administration. You are good, my man. You are good. Um, yes, noble okay. Can we get a hold of the Variags somehow? Yes, no, master. not this time. As you will. Maybe next time. Maybe Most next time. How may I serve? Noble one. I am a warrior, not a diplomat. And then we have Danan. You are going to tread very carefully, my friend. Yes, noble master. Yes. Noble one. At once. Yes, noble But you're gonna tread together, it's gonna be wonderful. Yes. An honor to serve. Yes, noble master. Yes. To fountain gold you go. To fountain gold you go. Tomorrow's journey Alright then. Um Shall we build a tower around here? Yes, I think we shall. Yes. Musab, you great tower builder. A watch here. Boom, boom, boom. We will see them coming. Navoil, uh, you can have a look at Karas. Sits only one tiny, almost irrelevant orc. And his many, many orc men. You know what, let's get these guys to Londangren as well. How may I serve? Uh, but yeah, all these troops, 1200 troops-ish, no actually 1300-ish, will be a very good shoe-in for actually stabilizing that place. We can get some troops into that. And also get some troops into that over there. How may I serve? One of each. Good, good, good. So, despite a lot of construction projects going underway, yes, we're definitely still pulling ahead economically, and I love it. I love it. Southern Lancers among our first units, I believe this one was. Hence its gold star rating. How it fought the Ardenaeum and now it's just chilling in a desert. <laughs> Way to go! Are you enjoying your retirement? I hope you are. <laughs> Anyhow. Um, are our, our spies where we want them to be? My eyes are yours. From the shadows, we shall be watching. Oh yes, indeed. We shall be watching. Um, and then we have... Oh, there's someone here? No. No, there's not. But there is a diplomat. And we can take a look at him. And then we can see what Goblin Town offers later on. Goody. Angmar, don't be so quick to defeat yourself, okay? I can't keep up. Morius' leader died. Minas Morgul has been besieged again. Tia is raid. You can upgrade so we can sort of uh, fast track that one a little bit. 
Gerber Mirland, you are going to trade for the win. It's going to be pretty glorious, by all accounts. Gerber told for last, you've gotten roads. They help loads. And. Mumagor. Oh you must break free from Angbodim tyranny. Only then will you truly. Truly, truly live. Orders. How may I serve? How may I serve? As you will. We shall end Smack them down. Okay. Let's get the infantry into Mumagor. Do my land. You are going to uh, do something about this tear life. He doesn't really have anything of value in his army. So I'm sure they won't miss the army at all. Five to two army strength. I'm gonna do that. Look at this glory, look at this fun. We have Mumakil for everyone. But they don't want it, so they start themselves on the opposite side of the map. Oh my. Not even on the hill, but past the hill. It's a strange decision, to say the least. But, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, we can do with that. Um, so we're gonna send some Mumakil over there. We're gonna send some Mumakil over there. And our sweet, sweet Umara will simply charge right down the middle into their general. He's right there. Isn't he sweet? Yes, he is. Okay, let's just uh, see them walk through the land. So, there's some walking here. And then they shall strike, say, the orc hunters over there. And we have those that are over here. And they will be... Let's have them run a bit, and then smack up these orc fighters. Yep, and now we shoot them a bit, it's gonna be great. And Omara, you have your target? Yes you do. Okay, let's get these guys running. Some charge in, and... <laughs> oh my god, it's a slaughter. 50% of their army is destroyed already, many of them fleeing. What is it I am seeing? It is pretty... Um, pretty embarrassing, Angmar. I mean... Uh, okay, there goes the army. I don't think it will last much longer. And there they go. Scour them indeed. Just keep hurling things at them until they croak, okay? Yeah, very good, very good. You're sort of doing what you need to do. It's wonderful. Okay, I'm happy. Victory is ours. <laughs> if victory both righteous and well deserved, it cannot be said otherwise. Well, that was easy, wasn't it? Ah, one gained experience. Good for you. We so we sack their camp and uh, yes, move on move in our lives. I just, let's say, Amara goes here, Siege joins in, and we go to Goblin Town. It's as simple as that. Dumbruben, you can say hello to these guys, see what they're up to. They've got some Siege, it's worth keeping an eye on. There's Meitelburg, we might want to uh, see what they're up to as well. Can we get in? Not really, not very easily at least. Better to train and have a look at things. We also want to track down that um, diplomat. Ah, there we have him. Tadan, I have an offer for you. I am going to buy Stilitzakand. 
Oh, you have Mataram. Hmm, okay. And you're bankrupt despite having one of the most wealthy settlements in the game. Guys, guys, guys. Let me offer you a little bit of um, um, a, a lend-lease agreement on your... Uh, only in exchange for a, a minor bit of uh, territorial influence. So, uh, 65,000... Nah, maybe not. Maybe, maybe we need to up it a bit to... 92,000, it's pretty good. No, 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 it's not. Okay. Um, 140,000. There we go. Ouch. Okay. So if the regular tribute is what they really want, they will get... One hundred thousand for two turns. Okay, okay. You know what? That's a reduction I think I can deal with. Yeah. It's only money. If you came to insult us, it has worked. Honorable ally, your will. Elmisha, you have handled yourself very well. And the WAP, um, well, you, you were there, almost. <laughs> Okay, um, Dolgador, um, no, I actually don't have any proposition for you at all. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to pull your leg or anything. Ooh, Tower of Lean, the last holdout of the Veilsman, apparently. Okay. Hmm, fascinating. Okay. Anyway, still that's a Candace hours, and um, I'm honored to serve. we're just going to walk right in and reduce taxes. And oh, they're nomadic still. Ah, okay, cool. Anyhow, um, we might need a spy, but apparently we can't get it because we don't have the prerequisite building. But I think the dark sanctuary will help in many ways. Um, He's not that good of an administrator, must be said. Hmm. Can we get some of these troops in, just for a laugh? Just in case the place rebels. Um, yeah. Okay, we've purchased another settlement. We are now well over halfway. And uh, we're on a, on the route to a, uh, taking another one. So, hooray. Let's see what's going on over here. It's probably all controlled by Angmar because that's what they do, apparently. Hmm. How may I serve? And at this point, Phantom Gold is pretty safe. So we're going to send extra reinforcements over... To help Mumagor. Wonderful. Let's g see what's happening with our little um, naval situation over here. Harun. Hmm. No, you're not the one we'll want to take out of management. Ethim would be a better choice, or Sakalthor yes, would be a better Lord choice. Tier 3, it's not really worth that much, all considered. So if you go to Tier Thoris for a turn and just... Oh, you can't be upgraded. Come on. Game. 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 We're not going to see it to eye to eye on this matter, are we? Hmm. Anyhow. Bad hard. Uh, yeah, you have troops that can be taken out of circulation, so to speak. And here... We're just going to grab some pikes and a bit of everything else. Um, yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Go back to the fort, please. Then had it. Oh, wind shall be very fair. Incredibly fair. 
And Lord Angren, uh, yeah, you can sort of uh, leave, hopefully. Let's see. I'll put you there. And, um, hmm, okay. It's not as low as I would love it to be, but... But, the thing is... Zengi, you can catch up. So we're just going to put our people here on the border. What is this? A military build-up? Never heard of it. And then Ikrima will come in next turn and... Uh, He's sure to uh, make things a bit more amicable. Uh, apparently, this place is not too easy to spy upon, since even the most fatefully good spies, competent spies, struggle. Mm, okay. Bregnas, how are you doing? Well, it's certainly easier to spy on you. So, uh, you, you get my approval for that. Yes. But, uh, uh, you're just gonna stand here. At once. Like, what? I, I'm just here to hike in the hills, my friends. I'm t you know, I've heard the, the beautiful hills of Herot. I'm just here on sightseeing. That's all it is. Yeah. And you can actually reach Isengard's little class outpost. So, uh, yeah, all is good. All is very, very good. Hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna give you a catapult. And... Tax relief, and... What else? I don't know. Probably have a spy in there or something. <sighs> An enemy spy, that is. Not one of ours. How may I serve? Yes, noble master. Okie dokie smokey. Let's see what Stalatsakan does. So, Stalatsakan has been lost. <gasps> and yet, here we are. We're going to build a barracks. It's going to help with corruption and uh, public order and all those things. The military garrison will also be quite useful in that regard. Uh, there's a whole other brotherhood. It's a nice building. Fine building. Muhat beast masters are available for the. Okay, Inter interesting choice. Um, but I suppose it would be a little bit overpowered if <laughs> suddenly you could get like Mubaka from there or something. <laughs> Though it would be the kind of overpowered that I would find decidedly delightful. <laughs> um, <laughs> New mission! Dwarves of Ered Luen. You know what? Okay. That was easy. Um. Hmm. <laughs> Watila. Hmm. Ah, yes. Uh, or Watilaria. You have um. Watilaria. No, that's too Italian. Watila. Watilaria. Um. What do you need? You need barrackses, practice ranges, stables. You need the staples, as it were. <laughs> um, the staples of our army. How do we get a desert horse? Okay. He can fly further than any before, any time in <laughs> any time in recent memory. Um. And we can't get the Moomoo kill on board anyway, so we're just gonna board. We're just gonna board. How may I serve? How many more do we need? 16. So that'll be these. Good luck, my friends. You have been assigned to, um... Eriador. Yeah, 
Tenethalus continues up its faithful little tech tree. Um, army barracks. I don't think we get anything from it. No, we don't. So, what we will do is to... Build out some farming. Build out fountains. Build out an inn. Get a dark shrine going. Just, yeah. Get some sea trade going. And London there, London. Um, oh, you can get some additional pikemen. That's always neat. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Yes, the dark sanctuary and still that's a can. We have that Water. taken care of. And Isengard remains doggedly neutral. Despite, or maybe because of, uh, the little build up on their border. Lord Angren feels better, and it feels even better now that some Haradrimachis have arrived. I'd feel better too. Look at these handsome people. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know. Plague? Well. Okay. Well, uh, let's get a great hall in there just to uh, facilitate some public health measures. Has the demonizing guard are at peace? Interesting. Noble one. Badvin has been held. My eyes are... I am tempted to yes, just go one. smack down on Isengard now. They will be so pleased. We shall endure outside their noble way. We close for battle. Um laying siege to the enemy. Oh yes, we can get in. Okay. Well, it is a fortress, so it's gonna be tricky. But Ubada has claimed worse situations for glory. So, Isengard, prepare to meet your end. Or Said in another way, prepare for Ubadar's boot to meet your butt. Not one of us shall fail to give all. Not one of us shall fail to give all. Okay, so we have Troman champions, and they're lovely. We have our cavalry, and it is um, going to be wonderful at distracting the enemy. Because we could just run through the gates, essentially. It's going to be good. They don't have that many troops, so a lot can be done. Um, we're going to send in these fellas here. And then we're going to sort of make two regiments. So... One of our Hashari battalions are going to go in, not with the cavalry, because the cavalry are going to zoom out, or zoom over to the other side. But the other ones here, they're going to go down the middle. Boom, 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 boom. Look at them, aren't they lovely? Very disciplined and organised troops, of course. Yes. All right. Spy Let's go. The gates. Ah. Faced with encirclement, they will find that they have nothing they can do except flee to the square and wait there. Um, team three, what do you say? Okay, uh, then many of them are still out here on the walls, it's fine. 
those guys are effectively setting up the towers to shoot at our general and I'm not that keen on the prospect so we're just gonna ignore that part for now get our cavalry in here because they are going to be wonderful So, are the enemy moving this way? They are not. Ooh, hopefully we can get out of range of their towers before they get too close to where our Hajari are going to be running in. Uh -huh. So, what's the behavior over here? Yeah, they're running around this way, which means that they will still activate the towers against our Trollman champions, but I mean, I'm okay with sparing the champions for a little bit. We're going to take skirmish mode off our skirmishers because um, otherwise bad things might happen. Alright. Shadow Blades, go for the Orc Fighters. I answer the Shadow's Call. Ah, Urukai Crossbow over there. Okay. You know what? Let's get some of you out there to smack them down. Oh, they've activated the towers. Bugger. Okay, we don't like that. Um, now, what are we doing over here? We're just shooting enemies and taking names and heads. Okay, uh, but they have actually come into contact with us. Ah, the marauders. Okay, okay. I see, I see. But they have vacated the gate premises around here. So, that means, Trollman champions, you're up. And you're going to execute their bodyguards. That's going to be nice. Uh, let's get these guys a bit further away from all this. Okay. What are we doing over here? Well, we're hunting down the Orc Fighters. Okay, good. Uh, let's continue getting these guys over there. Now, how are we doing here? The Shadow Blades. You are probably going to win against the crossbows, but uh, that should not be a surprise. I'd be surprised if you didn't. We've lost a few Serpent Archers, but they have distracted the enemy wholeheartedly, and I am wholeheartedly enthusiastic about it. So, let's keep on pushing them around. Okay, how are things looking at the main gate? Languid. Get in there, my friends. Get in there. And the trollmen? Haha, -ha, they heard me. They are getting in there. Good. Alright. Mountain skirmishes, how are you doing? Hmm. Okay. Over here then. Come on, my friends, get in amongst them so that the tower can't be as much of an advantage to them. So right now, just holding the line. We don't want them to do that, so I have to interrupt their plans. Okay. We have evaded the towers with our general, which is a wonderful thing. Now we can get to work and massacre. Reavers charging into the backs of their own boss. Okay, that's a, a mitigable outcome. For sure. Ha 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 ha. Okay, um, let's get these guys to smack them up. Uh, Alright. Just gonna. No? Not gonna move anything? Okay. 
Interesting. How are we doing over here? Uh, we're doing better now. Oh, you know, apparently the strategy of just running the Sashari into the enemy was pretty good. So, Trollman champions doing wonderful things as ever. The Urgrievers are falling. The bodyguards are basically dead, except for the general, of course. But uh, uh, what are you going to do? Well, we are going to bring in our cavalry into the center, from where they can support strategically. These raiders are not doing anything at all. It's a bit weird. Okay, Ashari shadows get in here, set up over there. Those towers, well, their days are numbered. You're being shot at. By what? Oh my god, there are Urukai archers on that wall. I failed to see that. The enemy's general lies okay. dead. Now his men can sense their doom upon them. Well, well. Ooh, an indecent amount of fighting and dying among the Hashari, but uh, fortunately we still have many of them left. Hey! Was that a tower shooting them? Yes, it was. Okay. The range of those things is pretty, pretty annoying. How about here? Can you get over there? And reach the enemy from there? Because, I mean, the alternative is just to wait for eight minutes. If you can outrange the towers, that would be great. Let none survive. Come on. Get them to move. Get them to do anything. For the night. Okay. There you go. You're all set. Um. What do we have over there? Yeah, we have those. Then apparently, what's this? Oh, there's some walk marauders over there. Yeah, okay. They're sort of shielded from everything, but if they don't move, then we don't have to. So, apparently, we'll just have to wait out the clock on this one. So, I hope you have a little bit of tea left or something. I still have a little bit of tea here. It's a lovely milky oolong, as it's called. So what we're dealing with is, well, it's an oolong that has a slightly milky flavour to it. At least first time it's prepared. And it's really, really nice. I struggle to uh, impart to you just how nice it is. With a bit of tea in the evening when you're doing such a thing as this, I raise my cup to you in salute and wish you a wonderful day. As we see... The Uruks and their influence whittle away. And hopefully we'll also uh, heal a good amount of troops just to seal the deal and make sure the day goes into the good books. So, 
Have we exhausted our arrows? Yes. But our shadows have gained experience. I am not opposed to that. Great victories are like sweet nectar. Ah, we healed almost um, half our losses. Drink of the most rare and glorious fruit. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So we're dealing with the chariot blades, taking some casualties, but also dishing out a lot of pain. So uh, good going, guys. Good going. Um, shadows also doing decent numbers, despite losing a few. Serpent archers. Mm, yeah, okay. They were pretty much a distraction. But we healed quite a few of them, so... Hoopsie doopsie. Tumsie doopsie. Um, Trollman champions lost 8, inflicted 23. Uh, lost 3, inflicted 39. Well done, friends. Very well done. Uh, I think this is a respectable city capture. We shall steward this land in ways the wise white hand could never do. <laughs> Uh, we'll just uh, take it over, build our infrastructure, oh we'll need a grand staples, hmm. but first we'll build uh, the type of infrastructure that will actually help us contain this madness of milk or shadow, we don't want that. Um, now, do we have a diplomat around here, yes, yes we do. Uh, but are there any orcs around here? Well, there's a fort, and that can do. But, since we are here... You know, you we will. should be, um... As you will. Tomorrow's journey awaits. Yeah, we should be sending our diplomat over there. And, Resting in the here. meantime... Orders. We should work to Call capture some I of turn. these places. Can we go fort hopping here? No, 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 no. That fort Call is a little I too turn. isolated. But, Alfred, you can send some Orders. troops. Over to that fort. It's been a thorn in our side for way too long. And since you're training these troops as well, I think we should just put some additional forces over there. Very nice. Any other Isengard forts that we want to take? No, I think we're good. I think we're good. It all seems to look like something good should. Um... And then there's this fort over here, which is close to our border. Ooh. Okay, okay, well, it sparks ideas, that's for sure. Do we really want those buildings immediately? I mean, they are good. This place is rich, filthy rich even. But we will also want to get our proper recruitment buildings up in our food. Let's call it the project that follows immediately in the wake of. Uh, Okie dokie. Anything else worth doing? Well, um, you go to Mumagor. Hello there, Angmar and Mami. I'm just going to take this fort. We have these are now our I mean, that takes a bit of cash, and to be honest, in these times, that is pretty merited. I mean, we like it, we like it. Um, and we can retrain our beloved, beloved Men of the Pike. Men of the Pike, Men of the Pike, Men of the Pike. Okay, uh, what, what about you? Can you get anything special? Eh, maybe some Southman archers. And, um... <sighs> Enethauer did not become ours. So, since there's only one turn till the siege will end one way or the other, we're just going to merge our forces together. And, uh, oh my goodness, this is where all our spies were. <laughs> uh, okay, well, I mean, if nothing else, the, the, um... <laughs> the conversion process is going to be swift. And Gimelkard... And Danan arrive. Okay, so Danan, you are going to Woodwind. And give a card, you are going to Fountain Gold. And immediately our finances improve too. It is good. It is good. It is very, very good. Um, we don't need the Warband, I guess. Ah, 
I do. Ah, let's let's get them. Let's get them. Let's get them. They're still a functional unit in the grand scheme of things. How may I serve? And I suppose this might just be where we leave it for today. So we've made Order. some progress. We've taken some names, our fleets are moving, our armies are grooving, and uh, you know what, maybe um, maybe Balorn will receive visitors. <laughs> yes, yes, wouldn't that be nice? Oh, 90%? Yeah, we will visit Balorn. Look at that, they have trolls in there! Ooh, okay. That's interesting. Do we have anything particular for trolls? Well, we do have some troll men. And they can throw their things. And we have some shadows and they can shoot their things. We have some trollman champions. And they can do some things. And of course we have some serpent archers that can shoot some things. So I think we're decently equipped for taking them on. Not uh, fantastically, but decently. Um, yeah, no. I suppose we can just besiege them until they decide to do something about it. That seems like a good idea to me. And so that's where we are going to leave it for today. Mumagor is more secure than it has ever been. Goblin Town is less secure than it has ever been. And Earth Hour is soon to be ours. Uh, as well as a couple of um, places, so to speak in Eliador. So, here is my plea to you, watch of this video, if indeed you have watched so far, may I extend my gratitude to you. Be kind to yourself, be good to others, click all the appropriate buttons here on the screen before you, and I will see you soon.